Today, our verse is Acts chapter 5, verse 32. And we are witnesses to these things, and so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey Him. The power of the resurrection continued to work among the apostles and disciples of Jesus to the point that people began to gather from different places, bringing the sick and those afflicted with unclean spirits to be healed. This development did not go down well with the high priests and the religious leaders. They arrested the apostles and put them in jail. But at night, the angel of God rescued them from prison. Meanwhile, the high priests and leaders gathered to interrogate the apostles. Then they sent some people to bring the apostles before the council because the apostles were preaching in the temple after they were miraculously released from the prison. Then the high priest questioned them, reminding them that they had been instructed not to preach again in Jesus' name. Then Peter and the apostles answered them, We must obey God rather than men. The apostles then told the council that God raised Jesus from the dead, although they had killed him. Our verse is a continuation of the words of Peter. We are witnesses to these things, and so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. Let us look at the verse. First, we are witnesses to these things. Hermes esme matures ton rematon tuton. The word matures, which is the plural of matos, means a witness to ascertainable facts, one who declares facts directly known to him from first-hand knowledge or first-hand experience. It also means one who tells what he believes, even if they have to die for it. That is where we get the word martyr, a witness to the point of death. The second word in this phrase is rematon, the plural of the Greek word rema, which means something definitely stated, a word, saying, or utterance, a prediction, or prophecy, a command, or direction, a message, or teaching, or doctrine. So the word things in the translation does not bring out the best in the context. It should be translated as these predictions or prophecies fulfilled. The apostles witnessed and experienced Jesus' life death and resurrection firsthand, as was prophesied in the scriptures. So they are prepared to die for the truth of that faith. For them, Jesus is the fulfillment of the old covenant as prophesied by the prophets. The second part of the verse says, so is the Holy Spirit. The apostles did not just rely on what they saw and experienced. The Holy Spirit, which came down upon them on the day of Pentecost, has affirmed their faith in Jesus. Hence they said, the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. God gave the apostles and disciples the Holy Spirit in a special way on the day of Pentecost. For us who believe in Jesus today, there are things we must learn from the apostles. First, rely on the Holy Spirit and invite the Spirit of God to lead and direct our lives. Second, we must be convinced about our faith, not from hearsay, but from a personal experience of Jesus. A personal experience helps us to stand firm in the face of difficulties and challenges in life. Lord, give us firm faith in you and the grace to proclaim what we believe. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful and pleasant day.